Our contractor let us know that demolition should be done um, tomorrow. So we are headed to the two flat to see the progress. And then this weekend we will meet with the framer. But first, a little tandem ride to get there. right off the bat is the tree that used to be right there is now gone that was removed about a week ago I feel like I need to cross the street so you can really see what it looks like without a tree so much more open it's gonna be landscaped in the front even cuter with a tandem so we are gonna take turns going in? Yes. Do you wanna go first or second? Um, second. Oh God. <laughs> so one of us will stay out here with the smooch and one of us will go inside. Who's oh, that? Demo. Who is that? Who is that girl with the helmet hair? <laughs> Ready, you take her? Okay, good luck. You gotta stay out here, okay, Smooch? I'll get the uh, basement unlocked, too. Okay, oh, it looks like things are broom swept. Oh my God, oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, wow, 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 okay. My hutch has not been touched. Oh my gosh, wow. This is so insane. So that used to be a bedroom. I mean, it still will be. All of our doors are here, which is exactly what we asked for. And all of the trim they've been setting to the side for us, although I have to figure out where they put it. Let's see if they saved my pink. Well, I can see down into the basement. Pink tub is there. Let it go around. I don't see the sink, so I wonder, oh, here it is. All right, so here's all of our trim and our sink and a light all the way back there. This is going to be crazy, piecing together um, all the trim, the floors. Oh my God. This is hardwood floors. I have no idea. I'm not sure why that tile isn't up. But for the most part, we have hardwood floors. Okay, I'm gonna hand this off to Scott. Okay, Scott gave me permission to do, <laughs> to do the basement. Okay, so this is where there's gonna be two more bedrooms, a bathroom, and a laundry room. Wow. I, Scott, this is unrecognizable. It's hard to believe. So there used to be a wall there because that's where the tub was on the inside of the bathroom. Wow. All right, Kim got to do the first floor. I'm heading up to do the second. Very dusty everywhere. You can see daylight through the staircase, which is good news, I guess. Another bit of daylight through the staircase. Wasn't there last time. Whoa, mama, okay. So, everything up here is completely cleaned out. Nice and open. Hardwood floors seem to be intact, even into the kitchen. So one thing we were concerned about, and we'll have to figure out how we're gonna do this, 
But there was this little bitty step up leading into the kitchen and the challenge is gonna become that that's essentially right where we want to bring the opening of that archway that is now gone uh, between, open between the living room and the kitchen essentially. So it's gonna be a little tricky because we can see here that there's about one level of flooring difference. This sits about one level of flooring lower than the kitchen does. So we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do there. But overall, flooring's there. Plank floor continues into the smaller of the two bedrooms. One thing that was a mystery, there we go, adjusting for light. There was a drop ceiling in here, which is now gone, which is really, really great because we probably gained about a, a foot worth of ceiling height. There's literally nothing left up here. We did have the guys um, expose this chimney. We think that exposed brick in an old home like this looks really great. So it looks, from what I can tell, to be in good enough condition that once we chip all this old plaster off, it'll be salvageable and look really, really cool. So we've got to get all that plaster off on this edge also. Good times. Gotta break some eggs, right? Maybe we should loft these ceilings up a little higher. We'll see. Let's get dinner. We're gonna see where they have gotten to this point. And in the meantime, we now are coming over to measure all the windows and doors that need replaced. Um, so that way we can get those ordered. Our architect said that we need that info ASAP and we found that out like probably two days after we already needed them, so. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of framing. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. So the, wait, look, they it's cut out for the floor. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is about to be the staircase that leads down to the basement level. Which is why there's a giant hole in the floor with a temporary railing, which is wow. really exciting. Wow. This is so crazy. Okay, so here's what's going on. So that's gonna be the stairs, and then when we come around, here's all the framing lumber. When we come around into the kitchen, this is where we would walk down. This is now the pantry for this kitchen, and this is how you walk into the bathroom. Do I have that right? Yes, and look, they opened up everything here and redid the framing up there to support the staircase. So we just gained the ceiling of the bathtub used to stop about here. Oh yeah. So now we have all Whoa, this Whoa, we probably light gained in. like. Yeah, 34 inches of ceiling height we just gained. Wow, we, so we got 34 inches of ceiling height. We're starting to see the rooms and the floor plan take shape. This is awesome. Okay, we're on the second floor and it looks like everything was framed. Scott, do you want to show off how how wide yes, this absolutely. opening is? The flow between the kitchen and the living room is fantastic now. We ended up leaving this little stub wall right here. Which is great for furniture. Privacy, 
uh, so that you're not looking straight into the bathroom door from the living room and the kitchen. Yeah, let me also, show it from this side. It's just couldn't be happier with the layout. Yeah, and this was actually a suggestion from a some of, of our readers. couple of readers. Originally, the opening was going to start over here and maybe go to about here. But you said, why would you want to look at a bathroom? And we said, good point. You're right. So thanks for your help. Also, this will help with furniture placement because now you've got, you know, this whole wall open right here. The TV and entertainment stuff could possibly go over here with the couch in between the windows. It could be like a sectional situation where you've got like an L shaped couch like this and maybe the television back over here between the windows or on the laundry room wall if people wanted to be able to see it from the kitchen. So this le leaves like a ton more options um, for layout, which yeah. we think our renters will appreciate. We're trying to put as much thought into this as possible. We realized while we were measuring the windows that initially we thought we would just replace the windows that needed it, but then we were like, well, if we're gonna replace them, let's make it absolutely perfect and just change the size and redo the foundation and it's called project creep <laughs> so um we're actually on our way to the two flat again to meet with our architect you forgot a tape measure oh wait no i brought one okay score Walking through with the architect, we learned... Wait, no, we had a happy discovery, do you want to say? Well, one was happy. The concrete. Oh, yeah, the concrete is not quite level in the basement, and we had an epiphany. Since we're gonna have to pour some concrete anyway, instead of doing wood look tile, like we did in the garden unit at our house... Which we thought we were going to do. We thought we were gonna do we're likely going to pour concrete, maybe a thin skim coat, um, and then polish it. It'll sort of age over time and it won't be perfect. It'll be like perfectly imperfect. Then we won't have the expense of concrete plus and tile. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously getting the concrete finish ready um, adds an expense, but I love that more and it adds um, something charming to the home, I think. <laughs> Taking a little breather on the front porch before we head over to the two flat. So today at the two flat, we are meeting with our lender. Can you explain the draws? The draws. Yes. So we have a construction loan for the project. So basically any time our general contractor needs to get paid, which in our case is every you know two weeks to a month, depending on when each subcontractor finishes a wave of the project. The bank sends a representative over to do a walkthrough and just make sure that everything that we are paying the GC for is actually complete. There's never really anything to be nervous about, but it's just sort of like... They're just making sure that what yeah. we say is happening is actually happening. Right, so we're gonna go do that this morning and then we will see how far the framers got. And in and the meantime, this cute little nugget is going to get dropped off at the nanny shortly. Nanny. nanny. Okay, we beat our lender here. So we're going to take a quick peek and see if anything else looks different. Oh dear. Okay, so this is a big pile of baseboards that we now need to go through when the drywall goes back up and Tetris back together. We're going to save it. That's the plan. <laughs> Pull out all the nails. Yes. Um, Encapsulate the paint. Yeah, reinstall it, re it, repaint it. We will have to patch some in, um, but we want to save as much as we can. This is the kitchen. Here, this where it's boarded off is um, 
the stairs that will lead down to the basement level, where there's going to be two more bedrooms, a bathroom, and a den, and a laundry room. Like, we're adding so much value to this apartment. And there's our pink tub. Right in the middle of the dining room, <laughs> where you would expect to find it. I mean, this is so stinking cute. I like how you pulled up your pant legs as if it were full of water. <laughs> I did do that, didn't I? Lender just got here. We're gonna meet with her, do the walkthrough with her that we just did with you. And um, we will see you next time on Dare Two Flats.